Team Hard Life Captain Albert Zertucci. All right, so with the video that I posted up yesterday about the fish bites, a very important question came up. Do these baits go bad or to where they're unusable and so forth? So i am decided to do a video real quick on that, what to look for. That way you can understand whether that bait's good or bad because a lot of these shops don't properly maintain their baits and stuff like that. And this is one of them that actually has to be maintained because if not, it will go bad in the sense of color. Now let me explain real quick. I have the flesh pink shrimp and the flesh pink shrimp right here. And the deal about it is, as you can already see, the colors aren't the same. This one has actually never seen outside, but it got put up against the wall that had a lot of heat that was coming through the wall. So the heat basically cooked it to where it doesn't have the pretty colors right here. All right, so again, when they lose color like this, they are still good. However, you gotta take in consideration that a lot of fish are sight feeders. So they're looking for the pretty color and then they won't actually hit. If they don't have this color, they won't hit. And that is also part of the description I was talking about lures, you know, if they have that one slight offset color, you can either make or break a hit. So with that note, these fish bites are still good. And what I do is I keep them around in like my inventory when I go fishing, because there are days when the perch are out there in crazy. So instead of using a good fish bite, because I know they're gonna get tore up by the perch, I'll throw these older fish bites out there, catch the perch and use those for bait. Because again, sometimes you can't throw a cast net far enough or there's too many rocks and stuff like that. So I'll use these older style fish bites for when I'm catching bait or there's just too much bait in there to have a good fishing trip where you're catching good sized fish. So how to prevent this? One, keep them in your cooler on top of the ice. Don't obviously don't let them get up underneath the water and stuff like that because then you'll get water in the seam and then and when you get water inside these packages it's the same they get real soggy and they're not very good to handle that the whole thing will actually gum up together and then it's basically a waste unless you want to use the whole big old piece for one big old bait which I don't recommend because these bags are about the equivalent to about five pounds of shrimp when the perch are there I mean they can suck off a shrimp off a hook really quick and you don't want to be doing that now, to prevent them from going to miscolor, keeping them out of direct sunlight and out of areas where there's a lot of heat. Now, if you don't have a cooler where you can put them in to keep them nice and cool, what you can do is put them in your tackle box to where they're not sitting at the very bottom. They're sitting about mid column of your tackle box. So that way they're not getting hit with heat up on top or hit with heat transference from the concrete. So again, like I said, if it's in your cool, in your tackle box keep it from being directly on the concrete and or what you can also do too is keep it somewhere in the middle of your tackle box and it'll keep it from losing its color as quickly the other thing is too when you're out there fishing on those hot days and you get home remember not to leave it in your vehicle that's another way, place to store it too underneath your seats will actually prevent them from getting this discoloration this there what you can also do too in preparation for all of this, you can actually put the same color of fish bites, or not the same color, but the same flavors of fish bites in the same package, and that'll be another video coming up very soon. So again, that's a quick, quick down and dirty of how to keep it from looking like this. And then also too, you can tell that this stuff is, it's, it's pretty stiff when it gets like this in comparison to these flavors, when they're not cooked like that. See how limber it is? It's real soft and stuff like that. So, just food for thought, guys. That's another way. If you can see that it's already discolored from what you're normally used to looking at, you can probably ask them for a discount or whatever, but depending on the shop, they might not do it. They might do it. I know when us, when we ran into this problem, when we were first learning about the fish bites, we had a whole bunch of them that went discolored like that, so we marked them like 25% off or 30% off just to get them out of the shop. But because we know they're still usable for bait and stuff like that, we couldn't just give them away for free. You know, we still got to make something out of it and stuff like that. So, again, there you go, guys.